Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode, another video. My name is Kickjax and we are here back on the zoo and here we are actually on, on Community, the name that we decided to call this season. As it has been a while, we actually have started up a season four. So to kind of end off this world, I thought it would be fun to go through and reminisce about all of the things that we were able to accomplish and then we will move on to season four and catch up to where we are there. Without further ado, I think we'll run through and try out all the builds that we did here and then we will move on to the new project. The first is our little cottage house that plastic seals make. And we actually ended up transferring all of the items here to our massive. Have our house. It was a little cottage that we revamped and upgraded a little bit, and it was our starter home, and that is all that we were able to do. Over here, we had the giant item sorter. We actually had a little AFK spot as we were sorting through almost all of the items. So we had a bit left, and we were actually in the process of getting everything labeled and put to where they needed to be. We were pretty lucrative and pretty rich while we did so. I did like this build and this aesthetic here, though I feel like we didn't fully encapsulate it and that's kind of as you can see with this cobblestone over here. We started a lot of builds and we didn't quite finish them. And then over here we had our farm. It was very fun. We had a lot of chickens, as you can tell, that had a lot of eggs that we were going to use one time but we never did. Our pigs, cows, and our sheep that actually an enderman pulled a fence on or a block or placed one but a lot of our sheep escaped and we never financially recovered from them. And then just our spot of all our different hand farms with melons, pumpkins, wheat, nether wart, sugar cane, uh, sweet berries, and low berries. Now we needed a lot of wheat so we made this sort of left it we had a cactus farm as we were going to make some dye we did get a lot of cactus but never ended up using a lot of the dye This one I really liked. I really liked the design and the build and this really cool creative climb. Had a bunch of cobblestone and I really liked how easy it was to start. As you would just walk up here, we would flick the lever, we would push this button to start it off, and it would go really loudly, might I add. And then we would just sit here for a little bit and with a lot of cobblestone would be generated. Now, I believe the only downside was the amount of damage you would take from it. So once you would stop it, I feel like I would move these, the button and the lever to down here so you wouldn't have to climb up and take damage each time you wanted to start to make cobblestone. And that is all of the builds that we did here at our base. Now we had a lot of plans and I was planning out a bunch of things to do. Like I wanted to build over here the farm and make a little bridge here, make this a bank then build a little village over here and kind of have it separated and make a little custom river. So we were not able to do that here at base. And we got a raid that I saved the captain for. And then down next to him, there is a geode all the way down here that we found. Anyway, we had a couple other builds that we did on the server. So I think we'll go take a look at those. And here we are in the nether. We did a good amount of builds here in the nether. We did the gold farm and I really did enjoy making this farm. It was very fun to build it with Houdini. I liked how easy and simple it was and how we had to adjust it just a little bit to get working right on the server. But it was definitely a very fun and entertaining build to make with Houdini. I think it was the first time that we actually built this with Lightmatica. As we both shared it and we just uh, started it. I started bottom, Houdini, top, and 
we sort of worked every other layer on our way up through this build and it was very fun to actually collaborate and build something like most gold farms it's actually really good as experience as well as a form of gold as you can tell the sorter here works and we we're actually able to get a good amount of gold very quickly and before we got the warp pad set up we actually made a an ice boat expressway to get to and from Houdini's base before we were before we were able to have enough resources to make warp shrines. Then once we got warp shrines, of course, that was the way to go. All right, continuing on with the nether builds. Over here, I made this build, the, as I named, free food so others could come and use it. This is a hoglin farm. I really liked how simple this was and how it used the the soul fire aspect of it. The soul campfires is it actually kills the hoglins way faster and cooks the meat and doesn't destroy it like lava lands do or others. I really did like that and how simple it was and then the little AFK spot all the way up in the ceiling. And this thing churned really fast. The reason the other one I really liked is these chests here that there were six uh six high and you could barely reach the top one to get it as you can tell it really worked very efficiently and there's only one platform level really enjoyed making this farm as well as it just helped out with the food all right one of my favorite and most excited farms was the ghast farm i really did enjoy making this farm it did take me a good while to build these but once i got it it was going as we needed all of these wither roses to make it and with all of the wither roses we we're able to get the ghast farm working very efficiently all the way up here and we should see ghasts now start to start. i really enjoyed making this farm as Again, it was fairly simple to do and to create and run. And it worked really great on the server to get everybody their gunpowder for rockets. And of course, the very last thing I did was the ancient debris and my giant cave that I had down here. I was able to use all the TNT that I made and got fully hitted out with ancient debris armor. And once I did that, of course, fortunately the season was over as I fully got kitted out. But it was definitely a fun experience to see all of the TNT blow up. And with that, that is another season come to the end. This is free of the zoom and it was very fun and I did enjoy it a lot. I liked building, I liked the things that I was able to create. I liked having that thought process of being very creative and building structures such as these and trying to come up with new and interesting ways to play the game. So I wasn't able to finish everything that I wanted. The season came to an end and 120 came around and I had to spend time doing and building and creating other things, I wasn't able to finish everything. So with this new season of the zoo, we actually thought about better ways to spend our time and help each other out as a community. So we decided to go a different route. And with season four of the zoo, we ran out of time, or I ran out of time to building things. We decided to come up with a better way to help our community at the zoo and be able to make it better builds as well make it easier for other players so that will be very fun to showcase to all of you wonderful people watching this video if you did enjoy it hit the like button subscribe and last season i be behind me there is some we go or up there let's see what's up here in this tree i think it's right there and oh I think I got what I need. I think we got what we need right here, right in the top of this tree. There's a brand new skin. New skin indeed. And I think it suits us very well. I really do like the look of this skin. Hopefully it will actually help out a lot more in making me feel as I should in season four. But anyway, without further ado, I think we'll move on to much more grander, greater things. We'll move on to season four of the zoo, which we have called industry or the industrial era.
as we will be doing a lot more there but i'll explain all of that in the next episode for the new season of the zoo and of the channel so so much for watching do like and share if you did enjoy the content leave me a comment as i really do enjoy reading those and tell me what you would like to see in the next season i have some great plans and i will share those with you as we become to fruition all around hope you're having a wonderful week and hopefully i made your day a little bit better